Pre-Alpha 2 officially complete. Uh, so, first things first, we switched from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. So that comes with one big change, water effects. We used to have just one flat plane with a single color, now it's actual water with like waves and underwater effects and all of that stuff. Um, what else? Trees. This is our old tree and this is our new tree, so far superior. We're using nanite technologies, so uh, way more detailed. And we're going to have a lot of trees like this. Um, map. So, uh, we decided to make it so that the world is separated into like many smaller maps, so instead of one gigantic map, smaller like islands and areas, like you can access through caves and stuff. Alright, what else? Alright, so we have two animals implemented a little bit. The AI is very, very janky. Um, so, uh, animations. We have our uh, rough animations, so these are the animations that are actually going to um, look good. So walking, running, all of that. And our janky AI. So the animations aren't blended at all. It's just walking and idling in a very, very bad loop. But this animal is basically just roaming around. Uh, same for the basilisk, but this one doesn't have AI. Uh, very cool animations from our uh, vice president and animation guy. Uh, <laughs> so basilisk. These two are going to be pretty important animals. Um, this one being one of the biggest herbivores in the early levels. And this one being the first boss, actually. Uh, this size, so they're pretty small. Uh, Basilisk is a very small creature. Um, what else? So, uh, AI, complex AI. We have three kinds of actual AI. Hold on, viewport. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, this, I think? Yes, perfect. We have uh, passive AI, so when they see you, they start running. And they will run for about 20 seconds until they see you again and the cycle refreshes. Aggressive AI, so these guys here sees me, he will follow me until he cannot see me anymore. Um, right now we're using these Unreal Engine ca like characters as like placeholders, but we're going to replace them with animals. Uh, and the next type of AI is the neutral AI. So they act like neutral AI, so they just don't notice you at all until you hit them, and then until you, oh my God. Until you hit them, and then they start following you like the aggressive AI. So they're basically just uh, passive AI without the running away thing. And when you hit them, they become aggressive. Um, the bulls here, I think I made neutral as well. Hold on. That one's janky. Uh, attack, and yes, they follow me. So the animations are trash right now. The like blending, because the animations are pretty fine, but the blending is horrible. Uh, but the code works, so they follow me around. What else? All right, so I fixed a bug in the uh, inventory thing, where you used to not be able to transfer uh, items like to the left here, like this. Uh, now, there's still a problem here, if you transfer like halfway, it won't like transfer, but if you do it the full way, uh, then it works. So, uh, bug fix in the inventory. Crafting, I am replacing with a better version. Uh, so like linear, more like a like progress tree, which I'll implement soon. Just... Alright, and uh, what else? Kia upgrades, so my health is at 100. Upgrade this, 105, and you can only do it once. Right, what else? Uh, more items, so uh, meat, leather, feathers, different kinds of woods. Um, these uh, placeable items, which you can't place yet, but you'll be able to place them soon. Big campfire, we'll add fire effects soon. Um, leaf bed, small campfire, all of that stuff. And finally, um, resource harvesting. So let's just get this AI off my back. Resource harvesting, uh, which, let's start with this log. I think the log requires an axe, actually. Yeah, I think the log needs an axe. Uh, so let's just grab a battle hammer, because this works with the boulder. So boulder here, say you just want to grab some rock. You don't have any rocks on you. Uh, smack, smack two, and you have a lot of rocks, so you can throw them away. Maybe make a flint blade, but I did implement crafting it. In summary... Uh, we have AI, animals uh, with animations, uh, better trees, better items, resource harvesting, a lot of small things, uh, and a lot of fundamentals for bigger things later on. Now, what next? Pre-Alpha 3 is actually very exciting, because uh, we will be implementing a final Culligan, so the character you're playing as. Uh, it won't be a um, Snow White Greek God here, bald. Um, it's actually going to be a character. So, hold on. Alright, so, metahumans, our character here is Henry Culligan, this guy here. Uh, we're gonna add him into the game, 
um, fully uh, rigged and stuff, and it's gonna be in first person. So you're not gonna play like this in third person. You're gonna actually see through the eyes of this guy here, uh, Culligan here. And um, yes, I have a shirtless version. That's <laughs> so we need to import him, not for other reasons. So yeah, we're gonna have this character here uh, with hair, with clothes. You're gonna see through his eyes, and it's gonna be really awesome. Uh, Pre-alpha three. We're also gonna add um, like status effects, so like on fire, uh, different kinds of poisons, like broken leg with debuffs, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, in pre alpha 3. So, good work, Gerbo team, and I will see you in the next pre alpha.